Hello and welcome to Love Advice TV. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I highly recommend you subscribe. Um, in subscribing, you get notifications every single time we post new content on the channel and we are posting content all the time. My name is Danny and I'm one of the head coaches here at Love Advice TV and with my ex again, along with all of the other amazing colleagues and team members. We have Coach Adrian, Coach Natalie, Coach Abby, Coach Priyanka, Coach Alex. Everybody is here to support you, to give you the information that you need in order to navigate whatever situation that you are currently in. That being said, the reason for why I'm filming this video today was because of a request that I got from somebody on the channel. And the question was, how do I know, right, the signs that my ex wants me back? And this is actually a question that I get all the time uh, in the YouTube comments, in my DMs, via email, in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, all of that, right? How do you know that your ex is interested in you post-breakup? the first thing that you want to pay attention to is how active they are in trying to communicate with you and trying to meet with you and trying to open up the lines of communication. If they are putting forth a lot of effort in trying to reach out and trying to reconnect, it is likely that there is probably still some interest there. However, it really will you really will be able to tell just based on the interaction itself, right? If they're just texting you and calling you and they're just saying, hey, how are you? Hey, what's up? Hey, how are things? That's not really much substance, right? We're looking for a little bit more. Are they taking accountability for what happened in the relationship? Are they trying to remind you of the good times that you had in the relationship? Are they trying to set up meeting up and maybe doing an activity together or whatever the case may be? If these are the things that are happening, then it is likely that there is still an interest and they are wanting to reconnect to possibly see where things go. The second thing is their activity on your social media pages, right? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. The one that I see most often is on Instagram. So, you know, if they're just viewing your stories, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's an interest. It could just mean that you guys are still friends on Instagram. You pop up in their storyline. They're going through the stories really quickly and you're one of the ones that pops up and they're just kind of passing through it very quickly. For me, one of the major indications that they are still interested or showing interest is when they start to actually engage you on social media. So they start to like your posts and stories. They start to comment. They start to send you memes and all these different things because that is a sign that they're trying to open up the lines of communication. They're obviously visibly seeing what is going on in your life and they are wanting to be a part of it in some way by either commenting, by liking or whatever. And hey, at some point, maybe even joining you in the things that you are doing that you are presenting and showing on social media. The last one is the level of flirtation, right? Flirtation is big. Um, if they are saying certain things, if, if you do have the opportunity to finally meet up, right? So let's say, for example, it's gone through a period of time where you guys have not been talking, you've been in a no contact period, they've reached out to you, and now you've gotten to a point where you are meeting up physically there are certain cues that you will pick up on, right? So small little glances, maybe minor touches of the arm or trying to be in closer proximity to you. You know this person. You were with this person. You were in a relationship with this person. So these physical cues, these kind of emotional cues, you should be able to pick up on pretty easily. Now I understand. When you've gone through a breakup with somebody and you're trying to build a new dynamic, you second guess everything, you question everything, and you don't know what you should read into and what you should not read into. The one thing that I will say is that if they've already invested the time and energy in trying to get together again, right, like physically going out, doing things, that's already a step in the right direction. That's already showing that there is an interest there beyond what was there before. Now, whether it's a platonic interest or a romantic interest will be dependent on how they interact with you, how flirtatious they are with you, the things that they say, are they romantic phrases? Are they complimenting you? Are they you know, doing little things like that that show you that there is more of an interest here on the romantic side than anything else? It's almost like when you initially start to date in court, right? It's that, that, that feeling, that, that energy, that chemistry, that, that exchange that you guys have. 
So if all of these things are happening or one or two of these things are happening, it is likely that your ex is showing that they still have interest. If this is something that you relate to, if this is something that you feel is currently happening in your life and you just feel like you need a little bit more information because maybe the content was a little bit generalized and your stuff is in your situation is very specific, I would be more than happy to support you and to provide you with more recommendations based on your particular situation if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Um, I'm telling you, it is exponentially helpful in these types of situations because like I've said before, you know, everybody's circumstance and situation is different. Even though there is a generalized theme when it comes to these things, your interaction with your ex is going to be different because of the dynamic that you had, because of your personality, because of the things that happened in the relationship. And sometimes one-on-one -on -one coaching is necessary in order to be able to position you in such a way that you increase your chances of getting your ex back. So if that is what you want, I am your guy. I am here to help you. So make sure you book your one-on-one -on -one coaching session. You can book via the website. It is www.withmyexagain.com. And just to make your life a little bit easier, I will actually provide you with the link in the description box down below for you to be able to book. Maybe you just want to know a little bit more about this subject and you don't necessarily want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, the website can also provide you with articles and blogs and videos in order to give you a little bit more context, right? A little bit more information around this subject matter. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.